Hello and welcome back my friends, ladies and gentlemen. Baker is my name and Tekken 7 is the game. This particular punishment video, we're going to do the 2D special. We're going to go over both Eliza and Akuma. Starting with Eliza first, there's going to be a lot of errors made in this video. That much I know for a fact. I'm going to try to cover every move that's negative on block that we can punish but can't be cancelled into a super. If you guys have any other corrections for me, please put a comment down below. I'm going to try to pin it and going to try to like it as much as we can. All for the sake of growing. Let us get started already. And coming up first, I have a 50 50 for you. I have 1 2 3 and 1 2 4. 1 2 3 ends with the mid that she does with that flip kick, and 1 2 4 ends with the high. If you are able to guess right, you can launch the three and then duck and duck and punish the four. Up next is one plus two. It's a move where she takes those luscious hips of hers and she puts them into your midsection. This is negative 20 on block, allowing you to get just about any punisher that you want. Up next is 3 plus 4, where she will actually hop in the air and do a sweeping low. If you do block or low parry this, do what you see fit. Up next is down forward 2 into 3. We got ourselves a mid launcher here. This is negative 18 to 17 on block, allowing just about any launch that you want. Uh, I believe, I think I made a mistake with this one. I think down three, while lunch punish ball on block, I think this can be canceled into a special. But if they don't do a special, just understand that it is a negative 16 on block and you can get a wall rising 2-1. Down four, that sweeping low I know for a fact is not, and you can get a wall rising 2 from this as well. Up next is back one plus two. This is just a back swing set of mids. And if you do block this move, believe it or not, it is launch bonus ball on block. It's negative 18, allowing you to get any launcher that you want. Remember that flip kick from earlier? Well, she has that as her wall rising three as well. It is the same negative property on block being negative 22. You can get any launcher you want. And last but not least, all three of her Shoryukens are uh, launch punishable on block, with Crouch Dash 1 being negative 22, Crouch Dash 2 with a 2 hit being negative 36, and if you meter burn it, it's still negative 34 on block. I think the real trick here is just knowing which one it is, blocking it properly since they have more than one hit attached to them, and pro punishing them properly. Uh, flashing isn't really an option. No sword stance flashing is an option. But yeah, you have to be careful with this one because it's a mix up within itself. Up first for the jab punishment section, we have forward one plus two, just like a spinning headbutt, I guess, but it is negative 13 on block. Here we have forward three, it was just a regular, just a regular mid. I think this can be canceled, but it is negative 10 on block. Up next, we got a 50-50 for you. We have down forward one into two, and then down forward one into four. Down forward one two is mid, but negative 13. Down forward one four is negative nine, but you can duck this move. Up next we have a back one plus back into one two four. We have a triple hitting mid here that's negative thirteen on block. But here's something that works out. You can sidestep the last hit. You can sidestep it either way. Either way it works, and you can get a launcher up. Up next we have a back three into four. It's a high medium string. I believe it does have a 50-50 with it, but I don't have that for you. I'm sorry. It is negative fourteen on block. You can knock her down for it. Up next we have back plus four, which is just another knee. What is it with these vampire waifus and these knees? It's negative 14 on block. Up next is wall standing two, a launching mid. While unfortunately you can't launch it, it is negative 12 on block. You can't get much from this. Up next is four, four, it's four, into two, into quarter circle, four, one. A massive, massive string. But what I did learn is that after immediately blocking the second hit, you can get a flash combo off of this. So whenever you see this move, please be sure to try to beat the 
dark wave that comes after with a awesome flash. And before I go into the Akuma section, this is Eliza's 10 hit. You are going to want to low parry the third hit out of this combo. And moving on into the Akuma section of my punishment video, we're going to start with his Rage Art. His Rage Art is actually unblockable, somewhat like Yoshimitsu's second one. But in this one, what you need to do is hold, or rather jump backwards, you can jump forward. But I think so long as you are not on the ground or you're standing on your own two feet, you cannot get hit with this move. But the best idea is to bait it out and then jump backwards for it. Up next is 1-2, a high mid-string. This little two-hit mid can be used to knock people down, but believe it or not, it is negative 17 on block. Up next is down 4-2-1, a two-hit launcher that he has. Double mids, but it is negative 18 on block. You can get any punish that you want with this one. Up next is down 4-2-4 four, four into 3. This is three-hit string. It does have a bit of pushback on block, so down forward one may hit, the hop knee won't, but crouch dash one most definitely hit. Up next is down forward four, just a mid hit, a little mid kick, but believe it or not, it's negative 16 on block. That's crazy. <laughs> it really is crazy. And just like Eliza, Akuma's down four is very negative on block. Negative 27 to be specific. You can get a wall rising 2-1 from this. And unlike Eliza, Akuma's wall rising 2 is launch punishable on block. It is negative 15 to be specific. Up next is wall rising 4-4. His own tsunami kicks like the Mishimas have. But this one is launch punishable on block if you can believe it. The actual frames is negative 15. You can get any launcher that you want. Last but not least, for the launch punishment section, we have the sure you can mix ups. You know, uh, sure you can one is one hit, sure you can two is like three hits. Holy crap! And even the meter burned version, too, I think he goes even further. He goes even further beyond. And, but it's all still very negative on block. You can use any punishment that you want. Okay, so I seem to have left the part out. I accidentally left out his quarter circle back four series, or his quarter circle back kick series. Um, quarter circle back three, which will be just one regular hit, is launch punishable. But for some reason, quarter circle back four, which is the multi hit spin kick, is negative 14. You can only knock him on the ground for it. But then if he meter burns it, it's negative 15. But he goes so high in the air, and the last hit is a high. You may as well just be whiff punishing them then. Coming up next is his jab punishment section. He doesn't have much. I didn't put much there. I'm pretty sure there's more punishable things, but I only went for the ones that he couldn't cancel. There's only three of them, and let us get started. The first one is down forward 1-2, a triple set of mids. It's a just frame, I believe. It's negative 13 on block. Up next is back plus 4, which is just a quick low. It's negative 13 on block. Yoshimitsu can't get much from that, but a wall rising 4. Up next, and, oh, and last, is forward forward 2 into 1 on hit. Double mids, it's only negative 13 on block. And ladies and gentlemen, this will conclude my quote-unquote 2D special, covering over uh, both Akuma and Eliza respectively. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you have any way to make this video better, like I said in the beginning, please post a comment down. The whole point is for us to learn the punishment for these characters here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. And that's sad at my age I'm 22 and seen more than I could actually say Dream job, can't wait until I get to do it A workaholic, the results got me addicted to it If there's a devil, I don't listen to him If there's a God, I ain't pitching to him 
Cause he know what I don't mention to him What's the point in praying to him What would I be saying to him Other than complaining to him Despite his indifference I'm afraid to lose him Just looking at me You can tell that I'm a bad acquaintance Shit I got more L's Than the Spanish language Might even join straight cooking On some crazy shit Cause these days I'm clocking out of work at